What about testing thyroid, which I know you did for mm -hmm. a lovely Leslie and liver and kidney function? Right. So we've, what we're finding, and, and you know this, is that many people, once they hit kind of after their 20s and their 30s, they start seeing decrease in hormone levels, a thyroid, testosterone, adrenal hormones, et cetera. And it's important to kind of track this and put into place healthy habits to maintain better hormone levels. Um, so we measure all, you know, a multitude of hormone levels, and we tell people kind of where they need to look out. And with hormone deficiencies, sometimes you don't even know you have them until you start getting symptoms like your hair falling out like Leslie had. And um, it would be great to know way ahead of time before that happens. Yeah. So Leslie got this amazing workup done. And, and I know, Leslie, you knew that you had some issues going in and you found some stuff out about your gut health, right? Tell us about that. Well, I deal with a chronic condition with my gut and I manage it, but I get flare ups a lot. And, you know, I had this inflammation test done and it found heightened inflammation levels in my body. And to me, that makes sense because of my gut issues. But then I also had a food sensitivity test, which I've never gotten before. And I found out that I'm actually have sensitivities to egg whites and avocados and other foods. So the plan is I'm going to try to avoid these foods for eight to 10 weeks and see if there's a change in my gut health. But definitely it's, I know that I'm dealing with these issues and to know that this inflammation, I don't want inflammation in my body. I mean, we know that inflammation is the worst thing to happen to your body. So I want to try to see what I can do proactively again to limit it. Yeah. You know, it's funny. The word inflammation is kind of like the word of the decade, right? It's, <laughs> you know, people, it, I think an important thing to say too, and, and Dr. Orton and Dr. Shah, you'd probably agree, you know, inflammation, the inflammatory cascade is a necessary thing that happens in our body for healing. So we do need that inflammatory cascade to take place. It's, it's when it's chronic inflammation is where we start seeing problems. And I know you have a biomarker test for inflammation. So tell us a little bit about this and why it's critical to the piece of the puzzle. Right. So you, you said the key word, chronic inflammation, that's an overactive immune system, which is happening all the time. And we can measure that or track that with a biomarker called HSCRP. This biomarker has been around forever, but not a lot of people have heard of it, but it's getting more in the forefront now as people talk about inflammation being the root cause of all diseases virtually. So we measured um, Leslie's HSCRP and it was high. And talking to her, we kind of drilled down into where this was coming from. It was really coming from a lot of gut issues from, you know, using a lot of Advil and those kind of things, which really destroys your gut bacteria. And when your microbiome or your gut bacteria is not healthy, your intestines and your gut really can't keep all the toxins out of your body, which then overactivates your immune system. And we can detect this with the HSCRP uh, biomarker. So what we did for Leslie, we put into place a plan where we're healing her gut with prebiotics, probiotics and cutting out the inflammatory foods that are causing her to have this inflammatory reaction. So it can be a very powerful tool, especially if it's especially high and it doesn't trend in a good way like you alluded to with um, the proper treatment.